What's going on guys? It's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today we finally have Massive Unboxing 3. It has been a while since I last done a massive unboxing. Last one I did was back in January, well late January in this case, with Massive Unboxing 2. And that consists of like 8 models, but for this unboxing, it's more than 8. And even more models than Massive Unboxing 1, the first Massive Unboxing I did for Christmas. And... Wow! Really crazy to think that these are a lot of boxes right here. There's a total of 8 boxes and one extra one from a different retailer, but technically it's not a retailer, it's an airline store, which I'll talk about later in the video. But nevertheless, I really enjoy a lot of these unboxing videos. I know I did some unboxing videos for the past week, like that Breeze and American unboxings I did. So you can go check that out by clicking on my channel in general. Yeah, you can see all my unboxings right there. And you can also check out my playlist as well. So if you haven't seen the playlist of my unboxings, you can go check it out from the card that's going to be appearing on your screen. And it consists all of my all my unboxings from model plane unboxings to massive unboxings or maybe just like model planes in general just model plane unboxing that has less less than six models but nevertheless really excited to do this and as of this recording it's actually easter so you can expect a couple of easter eggs like this one right here <laughs> i know it's just a simple easter egg with nothing inside it but what I'm talking about easter eggs and some model planes and some very inter interesting stuff that's going to be along here on the way. And yeah, hopefully by any chance I can actually upload this within May 25 at most. Because like after I do this unboxing, I'm just going to like start making the video right away. But nevertheless, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, like, you guys really enjoy a lot of these massive unboxings. They do get over 100 views on my channel. But, yeah, hopefully we can, like, make this a little more bigger. And, yeah, a bigger unboxing should be very interesting. Like I said, bigger unboxing. And, yeah, there's going to be a total of 12 models over here. Much bigger than massive unboxing 1. So, without being said... They better make sure I get a... So, without being said, better make sure I have all my materials with me. So I do have my pencil right here for measurements. My super glue is right here just in case a wing or a horizontal stabilizer comes broken. Hopefully for no broken models by the way. I would love for this Massive Unboxing 3 to have no broken models just like what happened in Massive Unboxing 2. And with my utility knife right here for cutting the boxes. And I guess we are all set. So let's get Massive Unboxing 3 started. So we're going to go into like box orders from February to like March. Technically I started ordering these models back in February. So we have box number 1, box number 2 up there, and box number 3. And we're going to go on order. So without being said... Let's begin with the first box. Alrighty, so starting off with Massive Unboxing 3 with this first box right here. This box comes from Panda Fox Toys. I did order this somewhere during the start of February. And as you can see, US, this is from a USPS first class packaging. And I do like on how they added like the fragile label right there. And yeah, uh, so yeah, Panda Fox Toys right there. And yeah. Panda Fox Toys, like I said in my Breeze video, Panda Fox Toys has been doing an absolute amazing job in terms of checking the quality control for broken wings or horizontal stabilizers. And ever since I started buying from their retailers, I never got like a broken model at all. So that is a good, that's a good thing. I kind of like order a lot on Panda Fox Toys since they do live in Las Vegas, which is also their, their home for Gemini Jets. So, really nice to get some Gemini Jets models here. But these are actually NG models in this case. That's a hint hint for this box. So, without being said, let's get started unboxing this. And here we go everybody, let's do this. That's a perfect cut right there. And go for another cut right there. Perfect. 
Now let's cut from the very top. I may have may have dent my cutting board. As you're seeing right here, but hopefully we get like a very satisfying cut. Come on. It's kinda like hard to like actually cut the full thing. Oh here we go. There we go. Now that's a very good cut right there. Alrighty, so we're gonna take out the flaps right here. And some other stuff. And inside these like packing paper, we're gonna take all of them out. And there is my invoice from Panda Fox. Better make sure everything is correct. And it is. So as you can see here, you guys already know what's about to to be coming and I can see them right now. So here we have the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the UNCF livery. Really wanted to get this model for like a very long time and finally I get to have one as such. We also have the United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the new livery as well from the October releases from Gemini, not Gemini, NG models. Let me just take a route of there. Man, oh, we got a box already open right already. What are we doing? So let me put those aside and nothing should be in this box right here. So we're just gonna like yeet that and go over these two amazing boxes. And here are my two Boeing 737-900ERs I ordered from Panafox. Like I said, one is in the Alaska UNCF livery and the other one on your right is the United 737-900ER. And so what I'm gonna do is like try to like do the UNCF first and go for the United one to follow. So let's begin with the Alaska UNCF first. Alrighty, so we begin our first model for Maximum Boxing 3 with this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the UNCF livery. This is a very interesting box design right here and I've been wanting to have this model for like a very long time which I'll discuss on why I wanted to get this model later on. So let's begin with the box design first. So you got your Boeing 737-900ER right there. The time, of, the time is, ugh, hang on. The, the time is always right to do what is right. A quote by Dar Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This box is actually like very political, which I'm not gonna go over this box too much because there's like a lot of political stuff that are in here. So yeah, you got your NG Models logo right there, your faces right there, the computer generated aircraft right here, Alaska Airlines, and here is the aircraft register. Ooh, sorry about that, uh, I kinda hit my phone. But here's the aircraft registration, November 492 Alpha Sierra. This aircraft, the reason why I wanna get this aircraft is because I did see this in Sacramento back in November arriving from Seattle and it was on a cloudy day and uh, but it still provided like a very nice picture I'm like wish I could it was I wish it was like clear like today but hey at least I still got the UNCF livery so panning over to the side you got like 1.400 scale that collectible model and your Boeing licensed product right here there's your Alaska tiles right there and your logo right there, your aircraft. Uh, sides are pretty much the same. And here's your back with all your copyright, like all that. Your social medias, warning hazards. And here's the item number. This is the item number 79003. And let's do this. Let's unbox this model and see if this aircraft comes broken. Let me just move the light real quick so I can have space in my hands. And there's like already an opening over here. So let's take her out of that box and wow, look at that, looking pretty inside. Take out the cradle, the plastic, and as per usual, let's check for some quality control issues. Let's check for the quality. Okay, so we're good with the wings. As well as the horizontal stabilizers and look at that. We got our first model intact, very exciting. All right, so here's the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the UNCF livery. Like I said, this livery is really political and I don't want to go over, I don't want to go over all the stuff and I do not support any of these whatsoever. 
so yeah so let's begin with the very front of the aircraft first so beginning here with the cockpit windows right there and your pitot tubes and side ports right there your nose gear door and i would say this is the tops and you got your l1 boarding door right there got just let me move in front of the sides the time is always the time is always right to do what is right like i said this is a quote from martin luther king and you got your uncf logo on the cfm 56 engine right there your faces your top and bottom antennas uh you got your winglet right there with alaska's logo right there it's kind of like hard to see but you can see i think i can see it's in like light gray but you can see their logo right there the eskimo and you got your static like that not static port, but the SACOM box or Wi-Fi box right there. Your faces as usual. You got your black wing lit on this side. And your US flag right there. Registration November 492 Alpha Sierra, like I said. And your Alaska logo right there with the letters. It's not the the Eskimo in the tail. It's just Alaska's title Alaska titles. And yeah. And panning over to the other side, it's kinda like hard to see the the doors, like the cargo doors anywhere, but because like the aircraft is fully black. Now Gemini Jets also did this, but I did decide to go for the NG-1 since it's top, top superior. Uh, NG, like, not NG, Gemini Jets in terms of like the gray here, it's kind of like a little bright, which I keep seeing. Hang on, let me just move it. So this part right here, this gray part, like the front of the plane, it's actually in the Gemini Jets version, it's a lot more brighter, which I don't know why, why it was like that, but yeah so there's your other side there's also another i think these are different faces as well compared to like the other side but here's the other quote and i don't know i don't know what quote is this from but it says education in the hang on okay so it's, it says education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world and this is a quote fi, quote from nelson nelson I, I don't know what the last name is but this side right here, this side of the aircraft is where I have the picture from, but yeah, and there's your other side. So overall, NG did a pretty good job on this model, I gotta say. And once again, really glad to add this model into my collection, and it's another Alaska livery to add in my collection as well, so very nice for that. And let's give you guys the other perspectives. So we got like the top right there, looking pretty nice. Here's the bottom of the- oh! Hang on a minute. Didn't realize, but there's... It is wiggly. It is wiggly. It, it is wiggly. So apparently, this this part right here is a little bit wiggly, but I'm not going to bother with that. But hopefully I can try to fix that soon. But here's the bottom of the aircraft as well. And heading over to the very back side. And here is the front. So overall, very good job by Panda Fox, even though I can feel like that, that sword's on... Stabilizer is a little bit loose, but nevertheless, I may try to like fix this after afterwards, but at least it still came in intact altogether. So, without being said, let's move on to the United one. Alrighty, so transitioning to my second 737-900ER, this time in United's Evo Blue livery. This is a pretty nice box design. Now, of course, I'm going to be going over the box so we got your Boeing 737-900ER tiles right there the computer generated image of the aircraft man I love this box design look at that doesn't like United evil blue box design from NG look pretty yeah your NG models logo right there one part scale collectible model United Airlines right there registration November 38417 and there's your Boeing licensed product and now this is the last model I'm getting for the October releases from NG slash January releases. And the sides are pretty much the same, as well as the back with your NG logo right there and your social medias pages. Item number for this one is 79006. And let's get into it. There's already an opening, which I don't know why it was like that. But nevertheless, let's get unboxing and hopefully we can get a model intact. Wow, look at that very pretty hopefully not broken like i said and just make sure that we get everything intact in one place and we should be good it as such so wow finally this also came intact as well 
At least this, at least the, I think this, this is the left horizontal, that, that's the left horizontal stabilizer. At least the left horizontal stabilizer actually wasn't wiggly for the 737-900 from United. But nevertheless, ready to get reviewing with this model. Also, one more thing. This is my second CRP from NG models I have. The first one I have is from United, for that United 757 I have. And like I said, really, gl really glad to have this and yeah. All right, so here's the United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the new livery, Evo Blue in this case. Uh, the Evo, I'm not saying much of new livery since the, the livery is already, I would say, pretty much three years old as of now. So I'm now calling this mostly Evo Blue livery in this case. This is a very phenomenal job by NG Models and man, NG does nail their United, their United colors, their Evo Blue colors. So. Let's get started with the very front with your cockpit windows right there, your pitot tube static ports, the nose cone looks pretty nice, uh, Star, Alliance, Star Alliance logo right there, connecting people, uniting the world right there, your nose gear door, and not sure that says ETOPS, but it's kind of like hard to see on my phone. You got your United, big blue United titles right there, that very amazing blue, blue swoop, blue like line coming around the aircraft. There's your CFM engine right there. Your blue winglets, skip, split skimitar winglets in this case, your emergency exit doors right there, your top and bottom antennas over there, here's your bottom antenna, and your SATCOM box, which is actually painted in gray, which I don't know why, like, most of United's aircraft and the evil blue livery are actually painted gray, but nevertheless, it's still a good model. There's your extra emergency exit door right there, and your L2 door over there, and your US flag right there. And like I said, the aircraft re registration, hang on, let me, let me scoot, scoot up. But there's your aircraft registration right there, November 28417, and there's your Evo Blue Tail, and your horizontal stabilizers, and your APU. So, like I said, a phenomenal job by NG Models for this aircraft, and this is another great aircraft. Hopefully, hopefully they actually can, ah. Hopefully they can actually do the Continental Globe United 737-900ER soon. So, panning over to this side with your cargo doors right there. Okay, like, I think, yeah, there's your cargo door right there. And you should also have your back cargo door somewhere right there. So, yeah, that's, that's the United 737-900ER. And, like I said, really glad to have another United aircraft into my collection. All right, so now for the top of the aircraft, and as you can see here, very nice with your gray SACOM box, Wi-Fi box, that amazing wing detail as per usual with NG, and here's your back with no painted red antennas at the very bottom, which I don't know why NG hasn't even done that. I mean, they do it in some of their models, but hopefully they can, they can do that a lot. There's your 737-900ER, I think that's ETOPS, I believe. And there's your front of the aircraft right there. And panning over to the very back. So, overall, NG Miles, very phenomenal job with this aircraft. And, like I said, very amazing model for my United collection. Anyways, let's get all my two 737-900ERs in one video. And here are my two 737-900ERs all in one. So, I gotta say, Panafox, Still a very good job on making sure these models intact, even though like this, the right horizontal stabilizer for the UNCF does seem loose, but at least the wings didn't even came broken. But nevertheless, I'm really glad to have these models into my collection. And these two models are really flat out amazing. And great job NG models for these two amazing models. And yeah, with that being said, let's move on to box number two. Alright, next down the line is box number two, and this box comes from the Midwest Mall Store. This is the only mall I bought from them in this unboxing, and usually when I order from Midwest Mall Store, uh, I don't order like two, because like, uh, it's kind of like a little bit expensive for the shipping, so I just went ahead and ordered one model instead. So, apparently like the box is like, a, like the pack, the shipping label does seem to like a bit... Like, it's a bit ripped off, which I don't know why, but this is USPS first class shipping, and yeah. 
Now, this is another NG model that I have, and I do want to like get this. <laughs> Honestly, looking back right now, it really does feel worth it to finally have this model into my collection. And I'll give you guys a reason why I want to get this model in, in, in the first place. But nevertheless, let's unbox it. And here we go as such. So let's start off on the sides, as per usual. Ooh, try to not hit that box. And cut from the very top. Come on. Ooh, I think that's on the wrong side, but there we go. Ooh, almost, almost hit the table with my knife. But nevertheless, let's get this thing cut. That nice cut, and there we go. We finally have it open. Now let's just open it from the sides, right here. And with all this packing paper, I can see that mall right there. And I do have my invoice right here, so let me just take that out. Don't want to show you guys anything. Make sure if it's correct. And we are, so... Just like, show you guys right here, but you can already expect what's about to come in this box, and... There she is! Oh yes! The United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the Continental Retro Livery. Now this is kind of like a very tight fit, similar to my United 737-700 I had back a while, a while ago. But usually with these like boxes, when this, whenever this happens, I do usually like rip the box so I can at least get them all out. And here she comes as she comes out of the box. Come on. Oh, this is kind of hard. But there we go. Wow. Look how pretty the box design is. Oh man. That looks beautiful. So, nothing is in the box. So we're just going to like fling all that and some fling, fling some packing paper. And let's get reviewing with this box. And here it is, you guys. The United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the Continental Retro Livery. Really so happy I'm so happy to have this model to my collection. I know I had to like buy it and all that, but now when I look at it, it kind of feels worth it to buy this model, which I'll give you guys a reason why. So we got your Boeing 737-900ER right there. How's that there? Your computer generated aircraft right there, your Continental Airlines logo in its older time frame, your NG models logo right there, 1400 scale diecast collectible model. Boeing license product here, Continental logo, old times, and the aircraft registration. Now here's the reason why I think it's worth it. The aircraft registration is November 75435, which this aircraft right here, I finally get to see at Sacramento International Airport. That was back in March 12th, and man, lighting on that day was actually amazing for this amazing shot. Wow, I gotta tell you, like this, I'm, it's, it's already worth it to have this model into my collection. Now, I did see this before I actually unboxed the model, <laughs> which I gotta tell you now, as of this recording, and I, I now feel happy right now. <laughs> finally, have this model of an aircraft that I finally saw, and yeah, it's also for like the UNCF as well. And here's your logo right there, your aircraft, Continental Airlines logo, pretty much the sides are, are the same. And here's your back with the NG Miles logo right there, your social media pages right there, and the item number is 79010. And let's get unboxing to this. I'm really looking forward for a very good model, hopefully not broken. Hang on, uh, is there like any opening? Okay, we got like an opening right there, but nevertheless, Super excited to have this model to my collection, and first of all, we have my sec, my third CRP from NG Models, and there she is! Wow, look how pretty! Let me like zoom it out. Look. Man, look how pretty that looks. Hoping not broken, like I said. As I take out the cradle and hop in the aircraft with me and check for the quality issues, quality control. We should be good, and we are good. So. Yeah, I finally have a very good model intact. So happy to have this. And here's the United Airlines Continental Retro Livery on the Boeing 737-900ER. Once again, this is a phenomenal livery and yeah, NG Models did a very good job with this model. I gotta say, 
So, let's begin with the front as usual. So, you got your cockpit windows right there, and that, that black thing, I think this is for like, to help with the sun's glare, so basically they would add like this black thing to help, help with the pilots and templates, like, help with the sun, sun reflection of the cockpit. But you got your feeder tubes and static cores right there, your nose gear door, your very old Continental Airlines logo. Now, I'm not sure where this is where this logo actually came from. I think that this was somewhere around like back when they had like their turbo props back then with like the DC3. I think maybe it was somewhere around 30s to like the 50ish somewhere in that realm, some somewhere in that timeline. But you got your L1 door right there, your Continental Airlines logo right there, your emergency exit doors, your CFM engine, your main landing gear, your split scimitars, which I gotta I gotta say, these these like this is Denji did like a very amazing job on nailing like the colors and the splits with a very very amazing split scimitar size. Your top antenna right there, your bottom antenna right there as well. And there's your extra emergency exit door, your Wi-Fi box, and heading over to the very back of the side, your flag right there. And I think this is supposed to be the ship number. And there's your aircraft registration. Like I said, this is November 75435, which once again, I am so happy to finally catch this aircraft. And there is your Continental Airlines tail. So, yeah, like, this is a pretty amazing model. Like I said, heading over to the very back of the side, your cargo doors should be right there. And your second one should be all the way at the very back. So, once again, NG, very phenomenal job with this amazing model. And another United aircraft has been added to the fleet. Now for the other perspectives, we got like the top version like the top area right here of the aircraft like I said amazing detail and here's your bottom of the aircraft which I gotta say look at the metallic the metallic on this thing this is amazing you see love how NG kills it with their metallic it's so reflective but yeah and actually they also have red antennas which I gotta say that is that's what I'm talking about so that that is an amazing pro for NG and here's your very front of the aircraft and as well as your back so overall midwest mall store amazing job for keeping this model making sure there's no quality issues and good job ng models on this aircraft wow it really looks very realistic even in its model version man i'm just so happy to have this model already and i'm also happy to finally have the aircraft that I saw in Sacramento in, on March 12th, now here at the model airplane. Anyways, let's move on to box number 3. Alright, and we have box number 3 right here. This is another Panda Fox order. And these are actually 3 models inside. And a lot of them were from the February 2022 releases from Gemini Jets. I also have one model, as, one more model as well. So, expect something very interesting. I wasn't expecting to actually have priority mail shipping, even though it's the standard shipping, which is basically free shipping, but I wasn't expecting priority mail to come here. But nevertheless, your fragile label is right there. So yeah, uh, nevertheless, let's just get unboxed. Let's just straight up get into a boxing to this while this, while it's still in the live cut. But nevertheless, like I said, these are part of like this NG mod, oh not NG, these are these are, these are all Gemini Jets, but these are all Gemini Jets, a lot of them from the February 2022 releases, and just one more extra model, which I will go into later. Now, February 2022 releases aren't even that bad. I mean, like, we got, like, a couple of American stuff that I do wanted to get. Ooh, hang on a minute, and let me just, like, cut all the way down here. Come on, there we go. All right, now take out, now let's see what's inside. Now this is, this kind of feels like a little bit of a big box, but excuse me, excuse on how I'm hitting the camera like that. Let me just like fix the lights. But from all this packing paper, let's make sure I get everything out. And ooh, I can see one, but ooh, that was my 
IMAX, but here we have the Gemini Jets 1400 scale Bombardier CRJ200 from Delta Connection. Really wanted to add this model into my collection. As well, we also have the Alaska Horizon Q400 in the Washington Huskies livery. Really wanted to get this model because this is actually a pretty cool livery. And there's one more model inside that box. And there she is as I take out a lot of these plastic paper. But here we have my first Gemini Jets Boeing 737. And that is the Alaska Air Cargo 737-700 B BDSF. Yeah, BDSF. But there she is. And of course, I do have my invoice with me. I'm just fling all these like packing paper out. But yeah, I do have my invoice with me now. May 7th, so I do want to like give this to you guys. G3 and a ZR. This expires on May 7th. The other one I didn't show because that's pretty much about to expire. But yeah, I guess that's everything for this box. So we're just gonna like fling all that. And yeah, let's get reviewing with these three boxes. And here are my three boxes from Panda Fox Toys. They're all Gemini Jets, like I said. And what I'm gonna be starting off first is the Alaska Air Cargo first, and then we're gonna go over with these two February releases. So let's start with the Alaska first. All right, so beginning with the Alaska Air Cargo Boeing 737-700 BDSF from the Gemini Jets October and November releases. Now, really wanted to add this aircraft into my collection so it can at least ma make a rare appearance in my upcoming airport, which I did made a teaser of that right uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. But as of this recording, it was yesterday. But yeah, April 16th. But yeah, I do have this aircraft with me for a very interesting Easter egg for many of my airport updates. But nevertheless, really wanted to have this aircraft into my collection. So yeah, let's get started. This is just your typical generic Gemini Jets box, nothing special. All you have is the Gemini Jets logo right there. Made for collectors by collectors, your computer generated aircraft image right there. Boeing 737-700 BDSF, Alaska Airlines logo right there. 1400 scale die cast model. Panning over to the sides, pretty much the same at this point. And here's the very back of your aircraft. Ooh, just kind of like dust. As well as the get features, pretty much know everything. Your Boeing license product, Alaska license product, a 2021 release as always. And yeah, item number for this one is GJSA2028. So yeah, that's the aircraft right there. And let's check the inside of the aircraft and unbox this. And now let's open up the flap and see what the aircraft looks like inside. Let me just move my light so I can have room for my arm. And here we go. And there she is. Looking very nice, uh, looking good. And there's your description right there. You can pause and read on the Boeing 737. There's your description and your stats of the aircraft right there. And yeah, let's unbox this. So, ooh, that was an easy opening, but hopefully we don't get this model broken. Especially when this is my first Gemini 737. I'll take out the cradle, the plastic, and hopefully not broken. Looking good. Just make sure I check, check every single quality. And I gotta tell you, we are good. So... Really amazing to have this model intact, and yeah, uh, there she is. And here's the Alaska Air Cargo Boeing 737-700 BDSF. Now, this is actually my first Boeing 737-NG in this case, because like, it, it is an NG with like the winglets, it's a 700, and yeah, really glad to have this model into my collection. Anyways, let's get reviewing, so let me just zoom in. And you got your cockpit windows right there with the eyebrow windows since this is like an older 737. Probably all Boeing right there. There's your nose cone. Technically, uh, the nose cone on the 737 for Gemini is, I would say, a little bit off, but nevertheless, it's okay. Here's your nose gear and your aircraft right there. Nose gear door. 
Alaska Alaska Air Cargo right there. You got your L1 door right there. That big, the big cargo door that's your that loads all your cargo. Your CFM 56 engine. Your I think these are emergency ac emergency exits, but. Like I said, this is actually a Boeing converted freighter. Hang on, I, I kind of don't know what VDSF means. So let me try searching that up. Okay, so it means VDEX special freighter. So yeah, this this kind of like pretty much is a special freighter and is like converted to like a very old Alaska 737-700 back, back when it was a passenger aircraft. Also, there's your antenna right there. Very nice ad addition to detail from Gemini. And there's your main gear right there. And there's your blended winglets with that very nice detail. I think Gemini did a very good job on that. And there's your wing detail right there. And there is your Alaska logo right there with your horizontal stabilizers. Now, I do come up in this like theory, like I kind of like don't know what the Eskimos name and I keep saying like Eskimo and all that but a lot of people also call this their the Alaska logo Chester but there's also like Oliver some people say that it's also Oliver on the tail so that that name is actually Oliver Amuak if I kind of like butcher that name a, a little bit I don't know but it's either Chester or Oliver is on the tail so I can either call call the logo Chester or Oliver but look at the registration right there. You see the registration? This is the reason why, now this is the reason why I want to get this model. The aircraft's registration, well you got your flag right there, but the aircraft's registration is November 627 Alpha Sierra, which this aircraft right here, if I can try to zoom it out, this aircraft I actually saw in Seattle. So that is another aircraft, another model I have, but I spotted the aircraft, so it wasn't like a bit far, like it was too far from my 18 to 55 millimeter lead, so it really didn't provide a very good picture. But nevertheless, I am very shook. Well, in this case, I'm shook that I realized that this aircraft did have an exact registration of the aircraft I saw in Seattle. Now, this I think, I don't remember where it came from, but it did came from like somewhere in Alaska, but. Yeah, it did arrive in Seattle. That was back in September, but nevertheless, so happy to have another model from my collection with the aircraft I saw. And here's your backside of the aircraft. Your cargo door should appear since it's like a white livery, but there's your front cargo door and your back cargo door should be right there. So nevertheless, even though like their Gemini 737 mold is, uh, I would say, I don't know, how would I say it, but it's in the likes of okay, but Nevertheless, this aircraft is still pretty nice and I'm so glad to have this aircraft into my collection once again. Alright, so let me give you guys a top view of the aircraft. So here's your top view with your single antenna. Now I still don't know what this black part is, so if you guys can let me know in the comments, feel free to do so. Anyways, here's your bottom right there, if I can like position it correctly. There it is, your bottom with your stand hole right there, your very nice, I gotta say like, Gemini does have a very nice. 737 engine mold and there's your Gemini Jets logo right there and that should say 700 yeah that's a 700 and moving on to the very front there's like a little bit of wing flex I'm seeing right here on this aircraft and here is the back which I gotta say like the the horizontal stabilizer is when I look at it very straight they are angled a little bit too high but yeah that's kind of like their quality but it's not really that bad but nevertheless this aircraft is not even that bad too. It's kind of a little tail heavy, as I'm experiencing that right now. But nevertheless, I think Gemini Jet still did a pretty good job, even though their 737 NG mold is, I would say like, not really like some NG, but it's still good nevertheless. But like I said, so happy to have this aircraft into my collection, and it will be a pretty good Easter egg in one of my model airports. So. With that out of the way, let's move on to the Gemini February 2022 releases. And into the February 2022 releases we go. We'll start off with this Delta Connection Bombardier, Bombardier A in this case. I keep saying Bombardier, but it's I, it's actually pronounced Bombardier Day. But this is the Bombardier A CRJ200 from Delta Connection. So, yeah, I do want to like have this in my collection, but 
Apparently, these CRJ 200s are actually going to be retiring by next year, and I have never I have never seen a CRJ 200. But I do want to add this model to my collection since it's a Delta model, and I, of course I do like collecting Delta models since I commonly fly with Delta. But nevertheless, you got your Gemini Jets logo right there, made for collectors by collectors. Now I've seen some like a couple of guys review this. I know JJ Skippy did a review on this, and yeah. And you got your bomb bombardier Bombane CRJ 200 logo right there. Like I said, I, this is your this is your computer generated aircraft right there. Delta logo right there. One four hundred scale, scale dot gas model. This is a very small box. Uh, yeah, very like a, this square right here. It's it's pretty small, but pretty much the sides are the same. And you got your very back of the box right there. As well as it gets features, of course I know know how this is gonna work. This is a 2021 release as per usual, even though this came out somewhere like February 2022, but we haven't seen seen any like 2022 copyright stuff until you reach like the March release. But yeah. And of course it wouldn't be a Gemini unboxing without me opening the flap. So let's do that. And there's that tiny aircraft itself. Honestly, it's very, very tiny. Anyways, you have your CRJ200 stats right there and your description right there. You can pause and read. And let's get unboxing to this. Now, this is just a one piece wing mold, so nothing to worry about, quality checks. But nevertheless, here it is. Now, let me try to get cradle out and the plastic out as well and take out that model. And there she is. Looking very nice and tiny. I mean, like, it really fits at the palm of my hand. Like, literally, this is a very small aircraft. But nevertheless, I'm really happy to have this model into my collection. And it's another good Delta model to add to my fleet. And here's the Delta Connection Bomarine CIJ200. Like I said, this is a very, very tiny model. And I had to, like, have my camera very zoom into the model because it's just so tiny. So we're gonna like review it from this angle right there. You got your cockpit windows right there, your CIJ cockpit, your PDO2 static ports now. Uh, if I can like try to like see, is this operated by Endeavor Air? I kind of don't know at this point because like it's a very tiny model. Let me like put it up a little closer to me. Okay, so it's kind of like still hard for me to see the aircraft like from like it's still hard to see on uh, what aircraft is this operated on so i may have to like check on the registration first so i can make sure what it is but anyways you have your delta connection logo right there your your emergency exit right there the wing the wing and some amazing detail of the crj 200 and your engines right there and i don't know what these engines are but i'll check i'll check after i do some reviewing but and there's your Delta logo right there with your horizontal stabilizers. It's a T-tail aircraft. Your flag right there. This aircraft was registered November 685 Bravo Romeo. Which if I can check on the registration, this is actually an Endeavor operated aircraft. So it was right the first time, but yeah. Anyways, one thing that I really don't like about the CIJ200 mold is this. I don't think like the nose landing gear is supposed to be like that. If you can I can like try to make sure this is focused, but the nose landing gear doesn't seem to have very detail at all. It's just like as if Gemini Jets actually like just painted a black dot. Well, this is mostly like, hmm, if I can, I can call it, this is mostly like just one mold. Like the nose landing gear is just one mold, but that's the only downside for this model. But overall, this is a very good model, I gotta say. Yeah. And let me pull over to the side right there. Your Sky Team logo is actually right there, and there's your other door right there, which in the CIJ mold, in the CIJ aircraft, the boarding door is actually bigger than the door over here. And of course, everything on this side is pretty much the same at this point, except... Hmm... I don't think I can see any, like, cargo doors anywhere. So, probably it's because this is a very tiny aircraft, but yeah, there's no, like, cargo doors anywhere in this model aircraft nor antennas on this gemini model because like they haven't even like put what they haven't even put like ugh, they haven't even put any antennas anywhere which i don't know why gemini just would like not add those i mean there there is a 
JC Wings mold of that, so if they could have just like used the JC Wings mold, then this would actually like, turned out a lot better. But nevertheless, I'm I'm still okay with this. I mean, like it's Gemini Gemini Jets. Like, what can you do? But nevertheless, it's still a good model anyway, and it's once again another good Delta model added to my collection. Now let me give you guys a top view of this aircraft right here. So here's your top view right there. Again, no antennas. And here's your bottom. And there's your very tiny Gemini Jets logo right there. And once again, this is a one-piece mold. Like in this case, this is the wing is one piece, which honestly is still my downside for Gemini Jets. But I kind of like got used to it at this point, so it doesn't bother me that much. And here's your very front of the aircraft, which I gotta say, also one thing. The main landing gear also seems to be spread apart, just like its wheel counterpart, which is pretty cool. And there's your front view of the aircraft right there. And I gotta say, the horizontal stabilizers are also straight too and leveled, which is perfect, as well as the engines, I believe. And here is your very back. And yeah, so besides no antennas and that like horribly, horribly designed nose gear, well, horribly fried nose gear, Gemini Jet's still a Still did a pretty good job on this model and yeah for many of you Delta collectors like Citrus Aviation I know he's a very huge fan on Delta and he likes collecting Delta models but this is actually a very good model for you Delta collectors like me so without being said that's the CRJ200 now let's move on to the Q400 and here we go with the Alaska Horizon Q400 the Havilland Canada Q400 in the University of Washington Huskies livery. Now this is like the same size as like the CIJ200. It's a very small box. And no, this is not, a, uh, honestly for me, this is not a re-release of this aircraft. This is actually the updated Washington Huskies livery. And you can see why, because it says Huskies and it says Go Dogs. There before like the older style had like the older Alaska logo but this time they had the new one and this used to be like a big w but now it has like i think it says huskies on like the right side and it says go dogs here also the engines are pretty much white with all like the mixes of like i think that's like a tennis gold and purple but nevertheless that's what it looks like that's what the revised livery looks like i wanted to see this aircraft real bad because i think this this livery actually looks pretty cool and I know Sacramento does have some Q400s fly around to fly around Alaska Q400s. But yeah, you got your Gemini Jets logo right there, made for collectors by collectors. And this is a very interesting box design from Gemini Jets in terms of, of these liveries. You got the Alaska logo right there, Horizon Air, and the University of Washington logo right there. So that's a pretty cool Louis design. That's a pretty cool design they choose from Gemini. And here's your Alaska computer generated image of the aircraft right there. there. This is actually my first turboprop aircraft and my first Q400 in general, so that's pretty cool. We got like the Bombardier, Bombardier and a Q400. Now, this is this is not Bomb the Bombardier, this is not Bombardier and a anymore. This is actually the Havilah Canada. Uh, I, it was made with Bombardier and a for like a while, but then got transferred back to the Havilah Canada. And that what I can remember but nevertheless here's your sides pretty much the same and here is the back of the aircraft and uh, this is a 2021 release and of course this is your Alaska copyright logo license and your item number for this aircraft is GJSA 2027 so yeah that's that box for you and of course let's check that model inside and here we go, let's make sure we get this model intact and let's open up the pamphlet and there she is. Wow, look this, she looks pretty in there. And of course you got your description, if I can try like move my camera, there we go. But here's your description of the Q400, you can pause and read, of course. And let's get going with the unboxing. So, pretty cool to have a, my first Q400 with me, especially when with a beautiful livery like this. I think it's pretty cool. And let's just pop her out of there. And man, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's just take a route of there. Take out the 
all that and wow look at that man she looks pretty okay oh they even spin too wow that is that wow that that is amazing wow but yeah that is actually cool and there you go ladies and gentlemen my first q400 into my collection and here's the Alaska Horizon Dehabling Canada Q400 Indo updated Washington Huskies livery. This is such an amazing livery just when I look at it. I wish I could see this in real life someday. Hopefully maybe when it comes back to Sacramento or whenever I go to Seattle in the future. But nevertheless, pretty cool livery and let's get a review. And so you got your cockpit windows right there. I think that says Horizon Air right there over there i don't know is this does that say the q400 look right there there's your nose gear pretty small for a nose gear and there's your l1 boarding door right there alaska titles it's, and horizon should also be in there but it's kind of like the over prop is actually blocking it and there's our these are the two pratt and i think these are pratt and whitney engines i'll give you guys i'll show you a text on screen on what those engines are because I don't think I've never flown on a turboprop aircraft before, but yeah. These are your Pratt & Whitney engines, which they do spin, which is a very cool pro for Gemini Jets, which I gotta say, this is actually pretty cool. So yeah, you can see like they're spinning. And there's your wing and all that. And I'm gonna show you guys the wing detail. And yeah, and then it says Huskies on the turboprops right there. It says Go Dogs. And... There's your logo right there. The, 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 what is it? The, yeah, the University of Washington logo, your flag, your, your US flag, your APU right there. There's your L2 boarding door. And some like, some kind of like thing, white thing that's sticking out. I think that's for like aerodynamics. And there's your registration. This is November 435 Quebec X ray. So yeah, this is a pretty cool aircraft. I gotta tell you, and a very cool livery. And let me just like hand over to the very back. And there's your all your logos right there. It still says Go Dogs, which I, I thought there was going to be something different, but it still says Go Dogs on this side. And I think there should be cargo doors. I don't think there's cargo doors on this side too, but nevertheless, this is another great model from Gemini Jets. And really glad to have my first ever turboprop aircraft into my collection, like I said. And now for a top view of this aircraft, so here's your top right there, looking pretty nice and with all the black and red stuff, black and red stripes right there. Here's your bottom of the aircraft, no stand hole unfortunately, but you got your Gemini Jets logo right there, that's per usual. Here's your front of the aircraft right there, if I just like, there we go. And handing over to the very back, wow. Even the horizontal stabilizers are amazingly straight. But nevertheless, Z, this, is, this is a flat out amazing model that's added to my collection. And I'm just so happy to have it. Especially in a beautiful, like I said, especially for a beautiful livery like that. This is one amazing model. Now let's get all my three models added in one. And here are all of my three models from box number three from Panda Fox Toys. And I gotta tell you, these aircraft are really amazing and I'm so glad to have them intact. Especially for like the Alaska Q400 and the Husky livery. That is such a beautiful livery. I also like the BDSF 737-700 from Alaska Air Cargo as well. And another Delta connection or Delta Air aircraft in this case added to my fleet of Deltas. And yeah. That's all of these three models. Let's move on to the next box. All right, so rather switching things up from model airplanes to rather something different. So as you can see, this is another order from Panda Fox Toys, and this is a very big box. This is like, wow, this is, hmm, if I can try to measure, this is like 13 inches, I believe. But this is a very big box. Like a very big box. Probably like the longest box in my unboxing, I would say. Anyways, so as you can see, this is rather different. These are actually GSC equipment. So I did decide to order some more GSC stuff. Like, yeah. So as you can see here, item number is GJA ACA 2002. Now this is actually an Air Canada Airbus A220-300, which in this case, I did not order in this unboxing. Quantity six and 
I don't know why. I don't know why they would like have this, even though this is not GSE equipment. But nevertheless, let's get unboxing with this box and see all my GSE stuff, like my ground service stuff. So let me just like cut through all that. Uh, just like I said, very long box, so it's gonna take a while. Now let me just like try to like slice it at the very top. All right, there we go. Ooh, this is a, this is a very quick cut. That was very quick. I don't know, let me share if I can. Perfect. Now I think that should be everything. Okay, I kind of like miss a spot, but nevertheless, ooh, that's that's not what I, where I want to like do that. But nevertheless, let me just open all the stuff and inside this packing paper. There's gonna be a lot of Panda Fox orders, but taking out some packing paper right there, fling that. But we do have. Wow. Look at this, I have my first ever airport service support vehicles added to my collection and some more wide body jet bridges because why not? <laughs> but there's your, there's my invoice. Now this is, this is, this is your 5% coupon EXE, e, 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 not EXE, it's EXGM24. And yeah, it expires on May 28th, which as it is recording, you still have time to like, you still have time to like actually like go for this code. But nevertheless, I guess there's nothing in this box. So we're just gonna eat that and give you guys my overall stuff for my GSE equipment. And here's my GSE equipment. Now I know I'm holding this because it's not a box. These are just like, what? These are not technically boxes, but these are, you get what I mean, what I'm talking about. But yeah, these are like just your Gemini Jets, GSE stuff on my airport. And yeah, we're gonna like start off with this one first. We're gonna start off with the ground service vehicles. So here are the ground service vehicles right here. And here's the other side of the back right there. This is a 2020 release. So this is a very old model, kind of like two years old, I believe. And yeah, uh, not this, nothing much to go over. And here's all the list of like uh, what's included in there. Item number is GJ ARPT S. I don't know how I can pronounce it, but it's G GJ APRC SETA. But yeah, no, no, let's 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 unbox these. Okay, uh, actually, should I? Um, I think I should unbox. Yeah, I should. Oh yeah. These are, you can, I can actually unbox them on the top, so let's do that. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be like, okay. This is my first time, like I said, this is my first time having these, so there you go. But first, let's go over the sticker real quick, which I can just like pop out like that. But yeah, here's your sticker stuff right there. And here is the equipment, so let me just like take them all out and just like drop them like like so like that and yeah and let's get let's go over these these GST equipment and show you what was in that box and here is all the GST vehicles you're seeing right here and yeah it really took a while for me to like set set them on like place them on order but here is what is listed. So you got two pushback tugs right here. You also got like this like pushback, pushback thing, whatever you call this. This is like a, this is for like pulling the plane, but uh, you got your bus right there, your catering truck, your fuel truck, and what else? There's your, oh yeah, there's your cargo lifter at the very side right there. And I think this is a, another bus. This is like a smaller bus, but this is, this is, but this is another bus. This is kind of more like, for like traveling full loaded passengers. And here's your air stairs truck right there. What else? And oh yeah, there's your baggage stuff and there's your baggage, baggage truck right there. Baggage, like tractor. And there's your like baggage loader thing. Like, what are these? Oh, I don't know what these called. Like, oh yeah, that's the tow bar. And all these generators. And it's kind of like, I kind of like don't know any of like these GSC. I know some of these GSC equipment. This is like for a car luggage. This is for like a cargo loader. So this is for luggage. This is for like cargo. 
So if you're like flying a cargo plane, then this is what, yeah. Passenger and cargo can also have this too, but these are this is the cargo loader for loading cargo, and there's your like baggage loader for like loading up baggage. And of course, yeah. So yeah, those are it's kind of like a short rundown of these GSC vehicles right there you're seeing. So yeah, that those are the vehicles, and this will work perfectly for my airport project that I've been doing for like three months now, and hopefully I can actually like, get this out by the end of the month. So. And that being said, those are your ground service vehicles, and now let's move on to the jet bridges. Alright, and into the jet bridges we go. So, pretty much I did order this back in Mass Unboxing 2. This is a 2019 release. It's very, very old, but nevertheless, we're gonna like straight up go into the unboxing, nevertheless. And these are some more jet bridges added to my airport. So, really excited, dude. Uh, these are wide bodies, not air body, but nevertheless, still happy to have them. Alright, so we got all those out. And here's your stickers, like what I have for the for the GSC vehicle stuff. And there's your jet bridges right there, so just take all them out. Now, these do come loose sometimes, which I don't know, oh, I have no reason why they would do that. Like, I don't know why some of these jet bridges would actually come loose, but nevertheless, they're just jet bridges and so I just wanted to have them. So nevertheless, let's get put in. Let's put these jet bridges together. And here are my three wide body jet bridges, fully assembled. And this really took a lot quicker to build since this is my second time having them, and it didn't took as long as what's compared to like Massimo Boxing too. But nevertheless, they're pretty well detailed. They were pretty well detailed. Nothing all like all just what like there's nothing to like go over. So we're just kind of like move those aside and I guess that's it for like GSC accessories so let's transition back to model planes alrighty guys and back to model planes we go so now we have box number four right here and this is an order from Jet Collector and I would say this is kind of like my largest box this time because like this is the, this is a very big box I gotta tell you but yeah and pretty much here there's kind of like some kind of like opening over there which i don't know why why was it that like that but this was surprisingly not usps but rather than ups instead so i thought like it's mostly like usps for like jet collector but surprisingly it was ups instead so let's just get cutting now these are my first international carriers in this unboxing so that's pretty ex that's gonna be pretty exciting exciting and this they these all come from asia so, really want these models real bad, and I also added another model. There's an, another model for that same airline, but nevertheless, uh, if I could try to like make sure I get the, these cut. Alright, so we got like a, we already opened that top right there. I'm gonna make sure I just slide all those right there. Come on. Alright, and perfect. So, now as we take these off, my invoice should be there and it should be correct. And it is correct, so let me try to like see all these packing peanuts. So I think we'll go for like a overhead view of this because like it's kind of like hard for me to like see it. But nevertheless, let's go to overhead. And overhead view we go. So inside these packing peanuts, I can see a model aircraft right there. And if I can pull it out. Ah uh, yes, I've been wanting this for like a long time, but we have the Japan Airlines Boeing 787-9 from NG Models. Really excited to have this into my collection, and we also have another Japanese airline. This is actually from ANA this time, and it is the ANA Boeing 787-10. So, two Japanese carriers in one box so that's pretty cool so I guess that's it for like the the box right here so they're just only packing peanuts so we're just gonna like put that aside and get reviewing with these two boxes and here are my two Japanese Boeing 787s really glad to have these into my collection especially for like the Japan Airlines one I mean like the Boeing 787-10 from ANA was something random that I decided to choose but nevertheless Japanese carriers in that same aircraft so what I'm gonna be doing first is I'm gonna start with a JL first and then transition to the all Nippon later 
well after the, after the, like the JL of course but we're gonna transition to like JL first since this is a model that I've been wanting to like have so let's go for the JL first and here it is the Japan Airlines Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner now these do fly to San Francisco daily so that's the reason why I wanted to get them and the Dreamliner is also good it's my favorite aircraft in general and I think the Japan Airlines livery does fit perfect I mean like it's just like all white but nevertheless it still fits perfect so let's get going with the box Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner right there you got this amazing gradient with like the Japan logo appearing so that's actually pretty cool Japan Airlines logo right there your computer generated aircraft right there NG models 1400 scale model collectible model Boeing licensed product registration is Julie Alpha 863 Juliet I don't know if I seen seen a model but I seen I think I'm seen Julie Alpha 862 Juliet one time but I don't remember but pretty much the sides are the same with a very cool gradient and here's the back pretty much the same with all your social media pages from NG item number is 55065 and yeah let's get unboxing with this we already have like an opening on this side already so we're gonna go for that now there's no CRP on this so oh, did I oh was that a bad paper cut oh crap ow so kind of like a bad paper cut apparently so ow dang that that, that, that hurts but now let me try unboxing it from this side but Apparently we don't have like a bottom apparently, which I don't know how did that happen, but nevertheless there she is. And take her out of the cradle and let me try to take her take her out of the bottom. Oh, I don't want to get my bloody hand on this this model, especially when it's like when I'm actually like taking out taking her out of the box. Ooh, ow. Mm. I really hurt real bad, but there she is. Quality checks as per usual. Make sure that big wing doesn't come off. What about the horizontal stabilizers? And we are good. Wow. Man, she, she looks pretty outside of the box. Well, besides that bad paper cut, which actually didn't turn out to look bad at all. Uh, we still have the Japan Airlines 787-9 in our hands. So, looking pretty as per usual. Like, man, the colors on this thing just looks flat out amazing of course ng models really nailed the coloring but nevertheless let's get to reviewing so you got your cockpit windows right there your beautiful 787 nose shape which looks pretty cool there's your nose gear door and the nose gear gear in general that says like 863 which is part of the registration or part of the ship number in this case there's your one world logo right there your l1 boarding door Japan Airlines logo right there, your Japanese flag after that, your L2 boarding door right there, and there's your beautiful, I think these are GENX engines. I know like ANA operates some Rolls Royce 787s, but these are general electric GENX engines. So yeah, you got your top and top antenna, your Wi-Fi box, and I think a bottom antenna should also be there too. I'm not sure. Okay, we do have some bottom antennas that, but they're like in the very back of the rear, rear side of the plane. And here's your wing detail, and I think I would say this is like an emergency exit slide indicator. And there's your like beacon light, your red navigation light right there, your L3 door right there, and transitioning at the very back of the aircraft, you got your L4 door right there, and uh, it's just like it says you'll. I don't know what this company is and there's your Boeing 787-9 tiles right there and here's your registration like I said the registration for this aircraft is Juliet Alpha 863 Juliet and there's your Japanese uh, Japan Airlines tail and your APU right there and your horizontal stabilizers so this is a pretty cool aircraft like I said very perfect for my upcoming airport and this is this looks pretty amazing. This will go well with my ANA 787-9 that I also have from Phoenix. And here's the other side with your cargo door right there. And of course your bottom antennas and your back rear antennas. So overall, this is a flat out amazing job by NG Models. And once again, really happy to have this into my collection. 
And let me give you guys a top view of the aircraft. So here's the top view. Again, there's no like 3D beacon lights, which I hope NG can like actually do. But in here, there's your registration of the aircraft on the wing, since this is not a US registered aircraft. And your red dot, which indicates the Japanese flag. And here's your bottom with your stand hole right there, also with the registration, except without the red dot. There's your there's your area where the rat turbine is supposed to be in. Your ama these amazing engine details, your stand hole. And yeah, now moving on to the very front of the aircraft right here. And transitioning to the very back. So overall, NG models, very flat out amazing job with this aircraft and overall, NG doing what they're doing make sure they get this amazing aircraft to look realistic and this aircraft right there is just the right aircraft for my needs all right now let's move on to the ANA-10 with clear skies on this beautiful Easter morning we have this ANA Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner now I don't know why I decided to like get this model I haven't never seen an ANA 787-10 before or they haven't operated a lot of their Dash 10s as of recent, but nevertheless, it's good to have this model. And ANA does have a very nice livery, of course. So anyways, you got your Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner titles right there. Your computer-generated image of the aircraft right there. Good. Mm, excuse me. But you have your ANA logo right there, Inspiration of Japan, NG Models, ANA, your registration of this aircraft, Juliet Alpha 901 Alpha. First, ANA Dreamliner, ANA-10 in this case. 1.0 scale collectible model, Boeing licensed product. Sides are pretty much the same as per usual. And here is the back of the aircraft with all your social medias and all that. Uh, item number for this one is 56010. So yeah, so that's the ANA-10 and let's get unboxing. Hopefully I don't end up as a paper cut again and hopefully there's no, hopefully there is a bottom on this one. Okay, I think, yeah, there is a bottom. Hang on. Uh, let me try to make sure I zoom out. Or, or, okay, I can't zoom out, but let me have to like a box up over here and take her out of that box. And wow, whoa, look at that. Man, she looks absolutely pretty. Hopefully, not broken as per usual. Take out all of these plastic. Okay, now we have like this like plastic at the very bottom, which I do have to pull. Which, I may start, I mean, I have to start from the very bottom, bottom most, and then transition from the top. Come on, hopefully not broken. Ooh, there's like a quick tug. So there we go. All right, and we got like the first one, and ooh, man, she looks super pretty. Now, of course, quality checks as per usual. We're good with the wings and hopefully the stabilizers don't come broken and we are good and look at that oh my goodness i'm so happy to have this ana dreamliner into my collection and wow it just looks so pretty and here's the all nippon airways boeing 787-10 dreamliner from ng models like i said this is just an amazing model i'm already setting myself for a very high quality ng model ana aircraft and i know i have the phoenix 787-9 uh please excuse the garage because like uh, garage is open my father is kind of like going to be working but nevertheless i'm just so happy to have this model and yeah without being said let's get reviewing all right so ooh, i don't want it to fall but nevertheless this is a very long aircraft for this box but nevertheless, we're just gonna continue on reviewing. And yeah, so you got your cockpit windows right there. And like I said, this is a very nice nose shape. Feeder tubes with stack ports are right there. Your Starlines logo right there. Your L1 boarding door, your nose gear. And that still says like this is the aircraft's ship number. So yeah, you got your Japanese flag right there. ANA titles right there. Your L2 door right there. L2 boarding door. Cause this is also a boarding door as well. Your top antenna and in the bottom antenna there, or it's still at the very back. Okay, so they're apparently still at the very back. Here's your SATCOM slash Wi-Fi box right there. This is a Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine. So like I said with the Japan Airlines one, ANA does operate Rolls-Royce powered 787s, while Japan Airlines operates GE powered ones. So yeah, and here's your like wing right there. 
and of course lucky I don't know what this is I think this is supposed to replicate the emergency exit and there's your like red dot of the Japanese flag right there there's your L3 door right there it's beautiful I gotta say like the colors on this ANA livery from NG flat out amazing and let's transition to the very back and here's your L4 door right there your Boeing 787 Bo Bo Boeing 787-10 tiles right there the Japanese flag and that says Air Japan all right so this is the Air Japan which I don't know what Air Japan is probably like a retired airline I believe from Japan I don't know but here's your registration at the very back Juliet Alpha 901 Alpha and there's your ANA tail with your APU and the horizontal stabilizer. Wow, this is such an amazing model and like I said, it's glad to have another ANA aircraft into my collection because ANA does provide like a very good livery. And here's your other side with the cargo doors, I believe it should be somewhere over there. And of course your second, oh look, second one should be right there. Ooh, better not make sure this thing does not fall, but yeah. Nevertheless, great job NG models. Also, I do forgot to mention the back antennas and the bottom antenna is right there. If you can see it. But yeah, good job NG models on this beautiful aircraft. And yeah, like I said, another great ANA aircraft added to my collection. Now let me give you guys a top view of the aircraft. So here's the top view, as per usual. And here's the bottom view of the aircraft with your stand hole over there and your rat turbine door over there and of course this is beautiful detail and there's your like registration on the wing since like I said this is not a US registered aircraft and there's also one at the at this side too and you also got your red dot there at the bottom side of this wing and here's your front view of the aircraft you can see like that's perfect and here's your back view with the horizontal stabilizer is looking pretty much leveled so yeah, overall NG models, another fantastic aircraft you made. And of course, let's let's see that engine detail because like I, I know I can see like I love looking at that engine detail because like it's pretty much superior. But nevertheless, NG models, very amazing aircraft you have in your collection. And overall, let's let's take a look at all of my Japanese Dreamliners. And here they all are, looking flat out amazing. So like I said. NG models, very amazing job on these two aircraft and overall I am just super happy to finally have these two aircraft for these two Japanese airlines into my collection and like I said this is really perfect for my model airport if I want to do like some Tokyo Narita, Haneda flights out to like that locate out to my model airport so overall really glad, really glad to have this and Let's transition to my next three boxes. Alrighty, so we're moving on to box number five. And this box comes from a brand new retailer. And this is my first purchase from them. And this is actually from Prairie Diecast, which they're actually based out in Canada. And like I said, this is my first order from Prairie Diecast. And with Prairie Diecast, they actually do a pretty amazing job checking their like quality controls, making sure if models don't come broken. And I gotta tell you, like, never, I heard some, like, many experience with some, well, model collectors at Prairie Diecast is actually good, so I tried it out for myself, and they, they do have these, they do have these models in stock still, as of yet, many of these retailers have already sold them out, but I'm super excited to have these models, and as I, like, open, open up the boxes, the box right here, cut, cut all that out. Perfect. Hang on. Did I miss a spot? Did I miss a spot? Okay. Perfect. I guess we're... Oh. Well, at least we opened them at least. But nevertheless, here they are. And these are United Boeing... Seven, this is a United Boeing 737-700 in the Evo Blue livery. I've been wanting this mall for such a long time. Not only I did bought one, but two. 737 700s from United and oh boy well yeah and over here we just have some kind of like random some kind of like newspaper from Canada but there's nothing here so yeah. all right and let's 
take out all this bubble bubble wrap right here and oh boy wow Ooh, dang the box design looks super pretty let's get into reviewing Alrighty guys, so here's the United Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Evo Blue livery. This will really go well for my United 737-900 ER that I also unboxed in this video. So I have like two Evo, not two, three Evo Blue 737-700s in one video. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> well, like I said, this is ordered from Perry Diecast and this is my first order from them. So with that being said, let's get reviewing with the box. Boeing 737-700 tiles right there with this very cool light blue streak. No, not streak, it's a stroke, yeah. This is a very cool stroke, which I do like. And look at that beautiful tail. Look at, oof, look at the computer generated image of the aircraft, but look at the box design. Wow, this looks really similar to my Evo Blue 737-900. And yeah, you got the United tiles right there. Engie models, one for under scale die cast collectible model. Bone license product. Registration on this aircraft is November 21723. This is pretty much, a, I already have a duplicate one already. Sides, pretty much the same. Not gonna go over in review of that. And here's your backside with all your social medias. And yeah, item number for this one is 77003. And this is one of NG Models' first 737-700 molds, so yeah. Anyways, let's get going with the unboxing. Let me zoom out real quick so you can, you guys can see the aircraft and take her out of that box and pop her out. Ooh, oh, that, that is the, yeah. Uh-oh, hang on a minute. Am I real, realizing something? Oh. oh, okay, oh. I thought there was gonna be like a loose, and there was gonna be no antennas, which I thought, thought there, there was, but yeah. But nevertheless, here she is. This will also go well with my Continental Globe one as well. So that's pretty exciting for me also. And I guess we are good. No quality, quality issues, but we are good as such. Wow. Look at that. Look at that aircraft. Man, I'm so happy to finally have an Evo Blue 737-700 into my collection. And not only that too, which is gonna be more better for my mall airport and here is the united evo blue boeing 737-700 man like i said with the 737-900er ng models does an amazing job with this beautiful united evo blue livery man look at look how pretty it looks anyways let's get to reviewing anyways so yeah uh, let me zoom in and let's get started so you got your cockpit windows right there and your nose shape of the 737 Pretty much better than like what Gemini Jet has, as always. Nose gear, a nose gear door, and your Star Alliance logo right there. Connecting people, uniting the world. Your L1 boarding door, and your big blue United tiles right there. Your CFM 56 engines over there, looking pretty nice. Your split scimitar winglets, looking nice as well. Here's your wing detail with your emergency exit slide indicator. And your top antenna is right there, as well as your Wi-Fi box over there. And transition to the back side, you got your L2 door right there, and your US flag right there. Registration, November 21723, like I said. And there's the Evo Blue tail, looking absolutely amazing with the colors popping out like that. And of course, you got your back side, your APU should be right there, and your horizontal stabilizers. So. Yeah, pretty amazing, like I said, and moving on to the very back side of the aircraft with your cargo doors, which should be somewhere right there. Your bottom antenna is also good, which they're also painted red as well, so that's a very good good job and she did with the detail. And there's your back side right there. So, yeah. Like I said, very beautiful model and I'm just so happy to have this aircraft into my collection. Now for a top perspective of the aircraft, so here's your top view, right there. Right, and here's your bottom side of the aircraft, no stand hole unfortunately, but that should say 737-700 I believe. If I can try to like focus here, but I think that should say 737-700. Like I said, red antennas, man, that just looks amazing. And here's your very front of the aircraft, if I can try to like focus, there we go with that amazing engine fan blade. And here is the back of the aircraft with the pretty amazing level horizontal stabilizer. So, 
yeah, that's the 737-700 from NZE. So once again, really glad to have this and this will work well for my United 737-900 in the Evo Blue livery and my Continental 737-700. Hopefully I can get the Evo Blue 737-800 as well. I mean like, it, I haven't seen a re-release of that yet, nor like, uh, ordered one on eBay, but hopefully I can get it soon. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully that'll appear on my later unboxings. And since we're here, let's also unbox the second 737-700. Well, there's like a, already a flap that's already open, but nevertheless, let's take a look at that second one. Looking pretty good. Okay. Now take off the plastic right there. And just make sure I check for quality, quality control stuff. Cause like I said, pretty diecast does a pretty good job on checking their models if they come in broken, as they do as such. So that's the second 737-700 already intact. So once again, I'm just so glad to have these two 737-700s into my collection and another Evo Blue model coming into my fleet. Wow, like I said, I'm just so happy to have two 737-700s in the Evo Blue livery into my collection. And here they all are competing against each other, going head to head. <laughs> Just like what I did for those Americans in my last unboxing I did. But yeah, overall NG models, these are amazing models that I have into my collection and great job Query Diecast for checking on these quality stuff, making sure these does not come broken and yeah. If you guys are new to model plane collecting, then I would recommend Query Diecast. They're another great website for you to get some models. And I did got these shippings for free because it's like over $80, $89, I would say. I know that's a hefty price, but I got like the shipping for free. So that's good, nevertheless. Anyways, we're moving on to like our very next box. Now into the second to last box, we have another box from Jet Collector. And this will be box number six. And this is the only, this is, this box contains like a single model. Like this, this is part of another January NG model set that I have, as you can see here. So yeah, and that's too much to go over this box. Let's just unbox it. Now, this will also work well for my other aircraft that I do have as of current. So, well, yeah, I do have in this case. But nevertheless, this is another amazing United model as a hint hint. And man, I'm just so happy to have this into my collection as well. And ooh, I like misaligned. But nevertheless, now that we got that open, let's unbox it. And my invoice should be there. And it is, so let me just take that out. Take that out. Come on, get out of there. Come on, come on. Oh yes. Here it is, the United Airlines Boeing 757 200 in the Continental Globe colors. So, this will work well for my Evo Blue 7, 757. And I've been seeing a lot of these Continental Globe 757 200s for like a while, so why not get one? And of course, this will also work well for my airport. So, yeah. Um, I can, as you can see here, you got Boeing 757 200 tiles. Boeing 757 200 tiles right there, your computer generated image of the aircraft. And here are like this very cool gradient from blue to white and all your continental globes right there. There's like a smaller one and it's upside down over there. And there's that bigger one with the gradient. Wow. But that's another very nice box design from NG. So speaking of that, there's your NG Models logo right there. 100 scale die cast collectible model. United Airlines registration is November 41135. Facts, pretty much the same. Sides. Pretty much the same as well. Social medias, I am number 53179. And let's do this, let's unbox this. All right, come on. Um, I don't think I can, I cannot open it from the side. So let me try opening it from the very back. All right, there we go. Ooh, sorry about my camera, I kinda like hit it. But nevertheless, here she comes. And yeah, look at that. Look at that aircraft right there, so. Take all those out. Oh, before that, let me see if I have my collector rewards program on this thing. I don't know if I do, because I should have since this is like January 2022. I don't know where, oh no, this is February, I think, I believe. But nevertheless, let's take her out of that styrofoam. 
gently. Come on. Oh, is that one stuck? Ooh, wow. Ooh, nice. Look, look at that. Quality checks. Quality checks. Come on. Come on. Don't come broken, please. And we are good. So, yeah, there's my United 757 Continental Globe. Okay, so apparently there's no like collector rewards program in my in my box for some reason. I don't know why, but nevertheless, I mean at least I still have the model, nevertheless. <laughs> yeah. And here's the United Airlines Boeing 757 200 in the Continental Globe colors. Now please excuse on what's going on in the background. That's actually my dad leaf blowing something. But yeah, nevertheless, this is a very nice model, and like I said, it will work well for my Evo Blue 757 that I boxed back in February. So yeah, let's get reviewing with this aircraft. Now I, I gotta tell you, this is a pretty. Oh wait, before that, I do. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, let's just let let's just start reviewing. Nevertheless, I'll talk about that winglet later on in the video. So here you have your cockpit windows right there. Your nose shape of the 757. NG does have a very nice 757 mold, and I gotta tell you. This is pretty amazing. Anyways, you got your L1 boarding door right there. And I think that's Flyfy, I believe. But there's your Star Alliance logo right there. United titles in its olden times. I mean, like, the Continental livery is mine. I mean, like, they just slap a United titles right there. Nothing else. But it's good. I mean, it's not really that creative. But nevertheless, it's still a good livery. Here's your... Here's your L2 boarding door right there. There's your Rolls-Royce RB211s right there. Your top and bottom antennas are right there. Here are your emergency exits right there. And here's the winglet. These are skimmeter winglets. Now, NG Models did a United 757-200 back in, I would say, 2018, I think, or maybe somewhere in 2019, because NG hasn't started making American models since 2019 or maybe 2018, but they do have one. However, this is a normal winglet, <laughs> which I would say I don't know why why they didn't check on the 757 if this is like skimmer winglets or normal winglets. But the older version, this is kind of like a re-release version of the 757-200. But yeah, the the first release had like a normal winglet. This one has skimmer, so that's good. Now, Gemini Jets are listening to many customers. And transitioning to the very back, there's your L3 door right there, your US flag right there, your SACOM box, and your bottom antenna. Like I said, this registration of this aircraft is November, no, November 41135. And there's your continental tail with your APU at the very back and your horizontal stabilizers. Yeah, and that's the aircraft. Let me transition to like the other side for the cargo doors as well. And th there should be one right there. And the other one should be over there as well. So overall Gemini Jets, no, not Gemini Jets, NG models. Yeah, this is a flat out amazing aircraft and another United model added to my fleet as always. And this is the only 757 in this unboxing that I will be having, so yeah. Now let me give you guys a top view of the aircraft. So here's your top view with all your SATCOM, Wi-Fi, and antennas. And here's the bottom of the aircraft. Wow, look at look at the metal, look at the metallic gray on this one. Doesn't that really have a good reflection on that? But anyways, there's your sand hole right there. Some nice back bottom detail. Your rat turbine door. And your very back. Here's the front of the aircraft. Hang on. Before that, I will show you guys the 757-200 logo right there. And there's your very front of the aircraft right there. And here's the very back of the aircraft. And that was my garage door closing, but yeah. Anyways, I gotta tell you, like NG Models still continues to nail their 757 mold. And really glad to have this model into my collection, as always. And yeah. Beautiful model, great word NG models, and without being said, let's move on to my final model. Well, two more boxes that I need to cover, but moving on to my final model. And this model will be very different. Or I would say I would say it's about a mix between special or like a different one. But nevertheless, let's move on to my final model in this unboxing. And here's my final model for massive unboxing three. And this will be box number seven. And this box comes from the RM Mile store. And 
I gotta spoil it for you guys. This is actually my JetBlue A320 Spotlight Tail Replacement. So, yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm in our mall store in Renton, in New Jersey. But yeah, I'm just here because uh, this is my 12th model. And yeah, uh, I'll go into further details on why uh, about this model. But yeah, this is actually my JetBlue A320 Neo replacement. Of course, like we, I got in contact with our mall store for like a, for like three months and it, it took like three months to like establish like a replacement the replacement stuff but nevertheless uh, finally have like a replacement and hopefully this replacement actually turns out good uh, hopefully it comes attack and nevertheless I'm just so sad I'm, I'm just so excited uh, I do have like a very bad history with RM from like eBay uh, I had like uh, Delta AC30 horizontal stabilizer off like it came loose and then I had this JetBlue AC20 Neo that had it had like the left wing detached so that was kind of like pretty much of a bad history but uh, I think at least this one's gonna be turning out good so let's just open the flaps and inside this packing paper I should be having it and there she is my JetBlue AC20 Neo now there she is outside and I guess we're just gonna like playing all this stuff so we're just gonna like whoop that and there she is my replacement for for that model. So yeah, let me get into further details about this model. And here's my JetBlue Airbus A320 replacement from the RM Mall store. Now this, of course, is an exclusive model, which is very cool, because like, RM Mall store does really some exclusives. I mean like, the JetBlue A320 spotlight is no longer there anymore, which is sad for many of you who wanted this model, but yeah. So the story about this model, so apparently, it was back in February where I got this model for the first time and this was from my American Eagle E175 and this model's unboxing and technically what happened is this so the horizontal stable not the horizontal stabilizer so apparently what happened is that the the left wing actually came loose when I tried to pull it out and yeah uh ended up contacting our model store to have a replacement and they kind of like established like hey we will send this back to you and once we receive it back and we should like replace it and then ship it back to you so yeah there it is right now my replacement so it's took it like a two three month process to actually have a model of this thing come back but yeah it took like a very long time uh, we were it was kind of I was kind of like new to like retarding models so I now kind of like getting into the feel of it and like they don't really spawn to like within 20 to 48 hours but nevertheless I still have it so yeah so here's pretty much the back side uh, I'm not gonna go into further detail with this model nor the box but nevertheless hmm, yeah uh, if you want to see like the full details of this model then you can go check it out on the card that's going to be appearing on your screen talks about that jet blue panda model that I have but nevertheless first jet blue model first panda model and yeah hopefully this replacement actually turns out much better and let's get to it I'm just dying to see this thing like fully assembled hopefully hopefully this actually comes true and there she is I think we're looking good so far just like take out the cradle over there and take out the plastic and come on please don't come broken all right quality checks as per usual all right we should be good we should be good and we are good so finally my first ever jet blue model has came intact and it's also my first panda models but nevertheless I'm just so happy that this thing actually came intact but yeah <laughs> wow let me just set this on my palm of my hand, but nevertheless, look at her. The spotlight tail is actually really cool, I would say. I mean, I haven't even seen the spotlight tail yet, but nevertheless, hopefully I can see it soon. I mean, it does fly to Sacramento during during the evenings. It has a JetBlue flight in Sacramento during the evenings, so I don't know why is that. Hopefully they can actually do some morning flights, afternoon flights, but nevertheless, I do have like a JetBlue model with me yet long last and I'm also excited for the JetBlue AC21 Neo in the streamers tail as well from Gemini Jets' April releases so yeah I'm really excited for that one and of course yeah that's my first JetBlue model but if I can get that JetBlue streamers tail then that'll be my second and hopefully I can do that on a separate unboxing and 
do have my replacement for my jet blue spotlight tail at long last now let's move on to the last ever package or in this case they kind of call it a package but but yeah we're already done with models let's move on to this interesting package for you guys alrighty so with this last package this is rather different it's no model plane it's no accessory but this is rather a model well not a model it's rather a picture frame from the Southwest Mall store so I did purchase something from the Southwest Mall store and I thought this would be like a very cool one so a little bit of a story time so you remember on how I catch freedom one back in December 9th 2021 20, yeah I was so happy that I finally get to catch my first picture of that air aircraft and that livery November 500 whiskey Romeo and I thought hmm what 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 can I do to post like a picture of my first ever freedom one picture so I did so as such so I did bought a picture frame it's part of like Southwest's clearance sale and inside it should be the picture frame so I'm actually finally having a picture frame of my first ever freedom one catch hopefully I can add another freedom one picture but much more better quality but nevertheless let's get unboxing with this so with all these package stuff now let me just like take her out and oh I can feel it I can feel it come on get out of there and wow let me like just set this aside and my invoice should be there but there she is wow oh my goodness wow this looks so beautiful and of course my invoice from Southwest and there she is I don't want to show my face because like there's literally glass there but nevertheless all right so here's the freedom one picture frame now I don't want to like like I said I don't want to show my face because this is literally glass like as you can see by my studio light this is actually reflecting it but nevertheless this is actually a very cool picture frame so let's get reviewing with this rather like wood cut out of this amazing frame like look at that look wow so nevertheless let's begin with the top you got freedom right freedom one right there june 18th 2021 which is the day southwest airlines turned 50 years old which is amazing and there's your november 500 whiskey Romeo, whiskey romeo right there wow i they did a pretty good job on this look at that and yeah you got your like u.s flag right there from one corner to the other and here are some like the letters over there let me read all of those a symbol of unwavering pride of our nation for our nation and its heroes in inspired by the spirit and declaration of southwest's people to commemorate 50 years of service wow like i said what a beautiful picture frame this is and i'm just so happy that this picture frame right here will be the frame for my first ever catch of freedom one so yeah that's all for this picture frame and this unboxing in general so without further ado let's get all my models in this unboxing all the models that i've unboxed and let's get the conclusion going and here they all are wow that is a lot of models that i'm seeing right now like i said these are a total i counted all of them and there are a total of 12 models which that is a lot i gotta tell you a lot more than massive unboxing one i did but we also include like the freedom one picture frame right there and some gsc stuff over there and yeah let me give you guys a rundown on all of these models because wow these, these are these are so many so over here you got your that's supposed to be the alaska horizon q400 in the huskies livery here my two 737 700s my 737 900 er and both of them are in the evil blue there's my united continental globe 757 i know my camera cannot even zoom that closely but here actually let me try uh, but yeah, you can see my 757-200 in the Continental Globe right there. My Japan Airlines 787-9. My United Continental Retro Livery right there. So glad to see this aircraft. And we also have the Alaska 
cargo air cargo Boeing 737 700 BDSF on Gemini jets once again another aircraft I saw in real life and there's my UNCF aircraft UNCF Alaska 737 900 ER also saw this aircraft uh, I may have to like fix the horizontal stabilizers hopefully I can glue that back nevertheless uh, here's the CRJ200 February 2022 release from Gemini Jets. This is in the Delta Connection livery. And here's my JetBlue replacement. So glad to finally have this into my collection. So glad it's already replaced. Here's my ANA 787-10 right there. And here's all my GSE stuff, accessories. Here's my wide body jet bridges and my GSC ground equipment. And there is my Freedom One picture frame to really end this massive unboxing off. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. <laughs> really long video for this massive unboxing. Of course, massive unboxings are very long and it contains a lot of models, like I tell you. <laughs> but nevertheless, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really excited for like my model airport to come later now. Of course, I have my model airport already set up. Like it's about 98% completed. I already uploaded a video of that. So technically for many of these model unboxings, I do have some more to come later in the future. Uh, hopefully Massive Unboxing 4 would end up being different. I'm, uh, it's not gonna, mass, Massive Unboxing 4 is not gonna be as big as this, but hopefully I can think of something clever for Massive Unboxing 4. So, I guess I that, that's all I have to say in this video. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss a new video when that comes out. So without being said, whew, really took me a couple hours. I started this thing at 9 o'clock and that really took me, it's already 12 o'clock. So that really took me like this the guy kind of took somewhere around like five out no not five hours maybe three hours yeah, maybe four hours but yeah four hours of this man that that is long <laughs> and it's on an easter sunday so and I, it's kind of like my last day of my spring break so technically i decided to like end up end off this spring break right here so but of course this is going to be coming on april on april 25 so what can you expect <laughs> but nevertheless i do hope you enjoyed today's video like I said, make sure you all do that stuff. And if you want to see more of my model playing con content, including my master model boxes, you can go check it out on my model playing content that's going to be appearing on your screen as a card. And you can check out my playlist for many of my other mass model playing unboxings I do, like master unboxings, model playing unboxings, and model comparisons. So hope you guys are having a good day, and and for me as well. And I would say that's all for today's that's all for today's video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Anyways, good night.